Well, developing news in Arlington Heights now, where several students got sick after possibly ingesting something. Paramedics were called after getting reports of a possible overdose. KCAL's Tina Ezzedine is in Arlington Heights with the very latest. By all accounts, the students are expected to fully recover. We also understand that the medicine nasal spray Narcan was also used during the suspected overdoses. You may recall the district said last September it would begin to have the medicine in all schools. Today, there was a need, as students say there were several drug overdoses at this middle school. A school emergency. I just hear screams and kids crying. But I heard that three people overdosed. At least three students taken to hospitals for what the LAPD suspects is a possible overdose at Johnny Cochran Middle School in Arlington Heights near Mid-City. One of them was like a sixth grader and they started having a seizure. And another person, I don't know where it was at, another person I knew, one of the girls, and they said she was like breathing really hard. And I know the other one is like, it's not we're doing so well. Panicked parents alerted by the district of the trouble, pulling their children out of school. So now it's like, you know, school is like, what is going on? It's a lot to deal with. The family member of this student says she will be okay. Students tell of the confusing and chilling moments the middle school went into lockdown for an hour. They said on the intercom that we we're going into lockdown, and the teacher said it wasn't a drill. So it was not a drill. It was not. It was not a drill. This nervous woman taking her friend's daughter out of class for the rest of day. Something must be done about drugs in school, she begs. Students say another student overdosed here just last month. The school needs to do better about this. Could happen already once. Other students seeking medical attention, 7th and 8th graders, approximately 13, 14 years old. Nervous. Yeah, why is that, honey? Because of all the things that happened to the school. The school nurse monitoring the students until ambulances arrived. The L.A. Fire Department confirms all three students still conscious and breathing. The district saying that it remains hopeful for the students' full recovery and urging anyone and everyone to report drug use and sales at schools anonymously on the district's app, which is exactly how parents we spoke with today say they learned about the troubles at school. In Arlington Heights, Tina Ezzedine, KCAL News.